Great Sphinx. It is smaller than I expected. If I'm to find the hyena, I must first speak to Mered, Apollodorus contact. He is a merchant somewhere in this marketplace. Welcome to Mered's wares, traveler. Well, what do you think? Junk. Be off, then. Ah, I haven't finished. Are you blind? I've nothing left to show you. But you've much to tell me. About the hyena. Ah, funny. As it turns out, that happens to be the most expensive thing I'm offering. <laughs> funny indeed. Delivery upon payment. Do you have enough to barter with me? Yeah. Your absurd fee. Now what can you tell me? The hyena is not her real name. <laughs> easy, easy. A poor attempt at humor, I'm afraid. Where can I find her? Her name is Khaliset. A favor. Some customers of mine took my horse after a dispute. Their camp lies in a quarry just south of here. Take my man, retrieve my horse, and I'll give you what you came for. Ah, how you found yourself in Apollodorus' company escapes me. You'll get it for me. If Apollodorus wants my continued service. Give my men a hand. They'll know exactly what to look for. It'll be easy. Friends with Mered? Ah, barely. He's a necessary ally. Mered rarely keeps protectors as allies. He doesn't trust authorities. But he pays well. And very few pay at all here in Giza. You cannot trust this sand in your hand. What can you tell me of the hyena? This Haliset girl? <laughs> we speak one word and we are hyena food. Nice chap. Come on, be on guard. We have a horse to retrieve.
guards here are vigilant. Must be Meret's horse. He neglected to tell me his customers were bandits.
failed to mention it was in the possession of bandits. Slipped my mind. Hmm. Good. Stronger than mine. I thought you said it was yours. <laughs> yes, yes, of course it is. You've done good by me, my friend. Then you'll deliver as promised. My word is my word. But I've one more thing to ask of you. Ah, done with your games. All right. The hyena lives in a cavern, just over those hills. Day and night she roams the desert collecting silica. Precious teardrops of the gods. What has happened to those who have interfered is best left unsaid. If I find you've led me on another futile chase, it won't be my words that hit your ears. A thousand promises. I have no reason to defy you. Don't die out there! <laughs>
So this is the hyena's lair. No sign of Khalisat, though. Mered was telling the truth. I need to figure out where she went. Detailed every crevice. Ah, she has not finished. That is where I will find her. I will head to the pyramids. I'm head after you. Do Alusa. Hyenas. Khaliset must be inside.
Medja here, where silence has befallen her. A Medjai who has treaded many dunes to find you. Hide if you must, Hyena. But this tomb will not protect you. I demand that you stop here. Turn back now and I will excuse this intrusion. Siwa was an intrusion. Man, I am Iset, possessor of magic. The gods live here, not you. What sort of mischief is she entertaining? What is it protecting? Heathen! The wakeful one is asleep! Go no further, or I will drench these arid plains with your blood! What is this place? A tomb beneath a tomb. Is this where you hide, hyena? <laughs> what gruesome madness happened here? A dark place with a window to the gods. What kind of ritual is she performing? Still warm, and the ceremonial knife. This was a sacrifice. Still warm, and the ceremonial knife. This was a sacrifice. Hmm. Alice drew these symbols here. Was she trying to figure out their meaning? Retransmission, Segment 3, Acquiring Contemporaneity. It has been 95 days since the Great Catastrophe. The Messenger speaks. You must be wondering why I have reached out to you. It was written, you see, that you would come to this particular chamber at this very moment in time. The walls told us of your coming when we once were. Look at them. Are they not fascinating? These walls tell of a tragic story. A story we transcribed on our structures, on our artifacts. A story we could not alter. A mystery defying us in plain sight. We tried. Our scholars and scientists, poets and physicists, bright minds, rebellious hearts. They all tried so hard to bring about change. They, we all failed. None could change what we discovered, the stories written into the walls of these rooms. By whom, we never knew. We know they tell of the future that is, the future that was, and the future that is yet to come. The Zeros? We failed at modifying the line. We failed at adding a single dot. 
It was clear. We were to be messengers at best. But messengers to whom? To you. We removed our ability to read those stories from your original template. A doorway that is also a puzzle. We must find a solution. Those were Brutus' words when he visited the vault under the Colosseum more than 2,000 years ago. He drew the vault, sketched it to the best of his abilities, but he could not see. Just as you are blind, you may read your watch, you may read hourglasses and calendars, but you cannot grasp beyond that simplistic surface. For now, the true reading of time still escapes you. And so today, the curtains pulled and the yours is shown. Tragic and complete. Those walls you might never read. Events yet unfold as written. But something, anything must change. You do not understand what is at stake. The reader has no power. He is but an observer. But the author... The author invents the future. The author owns the future. A future where zeros are avoided. A future where a loved one can be revived by the drafting of a new chapter. A future where humankind is more than it is today. A future where, just perhaps, we can all still exist together. This sarcophagus is decorated with goddesses of the Mother. Strange symbols are marked all over it. Offerings to Osiris, protector of the dead. I think I know what Dark Deeds Haliset was after here. Haliset was doing a ritual. She began by calling to Osiris with these offerings. She used a knife to sacrifice her captives. She collected their blood for some dark purpose. She was attempting to learn these strange symbols. She must have found them in this room. Once she knew the symbols, she carved them here and ended the ritual with one final prayer over the sarcophagus. Alicet must be trying to bring someone back to life. But just who is buried down here? your child. I haven't. Her rest is temporary. You have intervened on her reawakening. And yet you aligned yourself to the order. Ravage this tomb. Halicet! Don't you dare say my name! My name does not merit your lips, you who have dishonored her. I am a good mother. You are no different than any of the 
others who have come before you. Come, fight me if you must. Then your blood will be part of my daughter's marriage. I will bury you in the sand. to those who desecrate my daughter's tomb. I walk among the dead now. A just end. You defiled the dead and enabled the people who killed my son. All on a selfish whim. No. I gathered the silica for them. It powered the magic stone of those who came before. You saw it, didn't you? The symbols only needed to be learned. It is not meant for us. It makes no difference now. I wanted to protect my daughter in life and death. I have done neither. Osiris! Please grant me reunion! She walks alone in the field of reeds. Find your daughter in the afterlife, Halicet. May the Lord of the Duat guide you. <laughs> 